Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I am coming on to do a layout for my Nifty 50 page kit series, which is, I think, an ongoing series because I'm having so much fun. I have got a kit from March 2023 from the scrap room. I've got a kit, and then I have all kinds of other bits and pieces that we've talked about, so I'm not going to carry on too much with that. Now, this kit features Echo Park Paper Company, its springtime line. I've got this piece, some nice, ooh, that's really pretty, that coral. So I've got lots of scraps sitting here. So what I am seeing is I do not, oh, look at the little bumblebees, have a full-size background. So I can grab a piece of white cardstock, easy peasy lemon squeezy. I am, oh, and I've got these little bits and pieces here. So let's see what we have in here. Just lots of nice little wordy bits. They're super cute. Oop, this one, I'm gonna take that out right now. This one has a nice frame, so I might be able to do a shaker pocket if I have appropriate colored sequins or bits or whatnot for that. So I'm gonna take that out right now, perfect. I am using this sketch right here. It's by Lisa Sikorsky. And let me see, yep, it's from Lisa Sikorsky. And I was looking at the online version. We're not missing much in translation. I'll bring it over though, so you can see it just a little better. We've got a background, a nice big, almost a square here, almost a square here, a piece behind the photo cluster, and a nice visual triangle. Perfect. And that was from Christie's Beautiful Life. 30 Days of Sketches, Series 15. So I'm going to have that handy dandy for a nice reference for myself. So let's see. Let me grab a piece of white cardstock. I do not have any full-size pieces left from um, left over at this point. I'm looking at all my stuff, making sure what do I want to use, what do I like, all that kind of stuff. So I do have this cardstock. Let me bring it in. So I've got this nice white cardstock. It's slightly off white. It's just some kind of generic cardstock. Actually, I have a package of it and I literally don't know where it's from. Don't know. Let's see how white or not white it is. Oh, I know where it's from. That's the color of, yeah, see, ooh, no, 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 no. That's the color of cardstock. And it's even like a linen finish from um, the Recollections brand. It actually reads as slightly off white. And there's something, like I like a clean, clean white if I have a choice. And I bought it for a class and I wasn't feeling it. So let's bring in this. I will map my photo. And by the way, this is my a photo of my son and his little nephew and it was taken in the spring so I thought it would work for a spring kit. Look at how cute, just a little cute bundle. So I'll mat my photo with that scrap of white cardstock you saw me bring in. So let me put the stickers aside. That's for the decorating bits, right? And then I think what we need to do is what's the biggest piece I have here? <laughs> we should do it kind of like that. I love that those little bumblebees. Ooh, definitely a cute plaid for this little sweetie would, oh my gosh, guys, I am a mess. I'm hooking, you know how like <laughs> this piece is all cut funny. I was hooking it and causing issues. Okay, so this is a nice big piece. I love the idea of a plaid for a baby, a little baby boy, as well as the fact that I just happen to like the plaid. We've got a great orchid on the backside, but that's cute. And then we need another big block. So we have this. <laughs> We've got these gorgeous florals too. It's kind of a lot of the same on same going on with the white. So I have to think through that one. I'm thinking the cute little bumblebees. That is what I am thinking. So I know I'm gonna want as big or as wide of a block as I can get, which Let's see, it doesn't even have to be that chunky. So let me kind of go like this. Let me grab this. Get that piece taken off and then a nice wide amount here. There. So we can have so far, that is so far super cute because you know, it's a collection. So of course it's gonna match. 
we have that and then I need a piece that goes around the photo block like top and bottom so not the birdie houses maybe 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 we've got this orchid color which could do oh it's the other side of the plaid how funny we've got the orchid color but I really do enjoy this coral color so let me grab a slice of this there we go we can go like that and I'll go just grab another slice of it and I'm going to actually clean it. Oh, I know why I don't have it cleaned up because there's all these florals on there. And if I wanna fussy cut them out, I need to um, leave them be. That's why I was putting up with the messy mess. Okay, so what we have here is a piece, this goes, ooh, I think it's supposed to be smaller than the yellow. Is my yellow, like wonky. Let me see if this side is wonky or if I'm getting an optical illusion going. I don't know. Something seems to be wonky. I don't know. You know, something's slightly off. Something is slightly off. And if it's bugging me, let me just trim the smallest amount and be done with it. Okay. Which since I trimmed the smallest amount, I messed up my paper. I did. Okay. We're not gonna worry about it too much. We have that. I think this piece is too wide for Lisa's sketch. So I'm gonna bring it in, kind of like having those three green strong lines. So I'm gonna go like this and take it from there. All right, all right, Rabbit. We have this, we have this. This is going to go in front of this. This sticks out here. This duh, 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 sticks out kind of like this and the photo block goes on top. So those can be amended dramatically depending on what we end up with. Okay, then we have a cluster, a cluster and a small cluster just kind of floating down here. Okay, so I wanna get those pieces down now. Let's see what we might have for a title. And I, you know, I want to map the photo and all that. Spring would be really good. Homegrown with love. Stop it for a baby. <laughs> that would be so cute. Let me put it on my little tortured sticker block. Does anybody else use a sticker block or a block for like a sticker block? I don't know. So I think homegrown with love is really cute, but I think using the word spring that we have is a great start for a title. And then I can always bring in P-R-I-N-G. Yeah, I can always bring in um, some of the other alphas that we have. So I'm gonna come back and decorate with these in a moment. I love that box of lavender, the box of daffodils and the tulips. I think that since I love all three and we still have all three, why don't we go ahead and make those like parts of the three clusters? I think that'd be super cute. Oh guys, I also want to grab, oh, but wait, I also want to grab um, three flare before I go too, too far. And I was just looking on my desk. I have like an L-shaped desk. Wondering, I have these 49 market pieces and they really go with that green. I might try to bring them in. This is from my last layout. And, you know, I want to use up as much from this kit as possible because, you know, these are the rules and regs that I gave myself. So this kit is primary importance, right? And then bringing in all kinds of other stuff after that, which is super fun to use as much as we can. All right, so let's get this. I'm going to mat this photo a bunch of times. I don't know if I'm gonna fussy cut out any of the flowers or not. We will see. We are just trying to get it done. But you know, sometimes things just tell me to do what they need to tell me. Okay, little scraps can go. Little scraps. Let me get that out of the way. Oh, I also wanna see before you and I sign off, if this is gonna work, um, with any of my sequins that I have out. Let's see. The gold, of course, will because it's like he's a little star. That's too fallsy. Do, do, do. Ooh, 
That's kind of pretty, but there's too much pink. Too much pink. Which I can't believe I would say such a thing. I love pink. So these are mostly Spiegel Mom scrap sequins that I have, and they need to be used up. Yes, they do. See, like that's not just for boys, and the first thing, it's from close to my heart, but this is one of those things that were just popping through too bright, but super pretty now and again. So let's see, too brown. <laughs> okay, none of these will work. Let me look at my pieces here. That looks too aqua, too aqua, too this, too that. Guys, I am striking out with that idea. Striking out, let's see. I don't think any of these, these are quite bright and our piece is quite pastel. <sighs> Alas, that's not gonna work. All right, let me get these pieces down. I also want to get some of that. Um, I think I wanna do some of those cute little rub-ons on this too. I'm gonna map my photo as many times as I can and I'll meet you right back here. So. I like where we're starting with this. I've got some rub-ons on. I need to get some more rub-ons here. I was initially going to put these little pretty ones on, but I think I want something that's gonna go in that direction. So what I think I'll do is use just some of these leaves and kind of sprinkle them over there. I think that'll be just fine. And then I'll use more rub-ons. Okay, very exciting stuff. Um, Let's see, I've got all my scraps to the side that I'm not using now. Let's see if there's anything else that yellow is way too yellow for the vibe I have going. Now these, um, look at that cute little bumblebee. I think I'm gonna fussy cut out the bumblebee. Now these um, Echo Park collections, a lot of times they have just tons of wordy bits. Ooh, I'm gonna fussy cut out that cute little truck too. I think that would be cute. Here's another bumblebee. Is it the same color? I'm gonna fussy cut out two bumblebees fresh from the garden. Cute. Just seeing anything that will work and it's not going well. Oh, look at the little you and me. How cute. Because it's just the boys hanging out. Cute. Okay. Hello, sunshine. Find beauty in the everyday. All right. So that's fine. Now, fussy cut those elements out and put that to the side. Boom. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Are there any little bumblebees? <gasps> I found a bumblebee. I'm finding bumblebees. I don't know why all of a sudden this seems important. But when I like something, yeah, why not just go for it? Oh, look, they're going into a cute little hive. I see what they're supposed to do. I mean, mine aren't because mine have other plans, but how cute is that? There's cute little ladybugs are on here. Cute. Oh, look at the little snaily. So do I want, I don't want bumblebees and snails. I think we're getting too many things themes going. So I do have um, all three of these flower boxes are popped up on some foam. They're not tacked down yet. Um, so those are super cute. This bee I might save just to go with this and I'm not a big saver of things. I just have enough little bees is my thoughts. So I'm just seeing if anything else is working for me. Anything else I need to find some flair that is gonna be you know of the ilk I need. So let's see. I keep going through things kind of systematically. These are all kind of this one travel box that she did a while ago. And by she, I mean the owner of um, Scrap and Happy Studio. These are all butterflies that are beautiful, but you know, it's just a different vibe. Look at, look at how cute these are. I ordered those because I, you know, have a thing for animals. So these are rather big and dramatic, but they do match. I'm gonna bring those in. I think those would be super cute. I'll just bring in three and they can be in my cluster. I'm not gonna grab the ones with this really bold blue. I'm gonna grab the other ones. And they come on a sweet little pop dot. So it is ready when you are. So I'm glad I grabbed these before I went too much further because they're kind of big. How cute, guys. It's so cute. Okay. I save that for my mixed media stuff so I don't have to clean later because that's my vibe. Okay. I want to get these other pieces on. I'm going to get the rest of this stuff on. I'm going to move all of these bits I'm not going to use out of the way. Now, oh, and I did end up making a shaker. As you can see, I ended up making this shaker. 
I'm going to go like that. Um, using those gold little glittery bits because you know what, guys? I need to use these things and it did work for you. So mm -mm -mm, I've got all of that. Don't know if I'm going to have anything. Ooh, this orchid. These little orchid bling blings from Buttons Galore and More would work. That yellow. We could do orchid and yellow. And then maybe some enamel dots, maybe. I'm looking through all of the bits that I have just to make sure. So that's not the right tone. Okay. And then maybe some of my rando enamel dots that I have. We didn't look at, guys, you know what we didn't look at yet, though? We did not look at our wood pieces, and I'm actually going to bring in some of these gears. A, because I associate it with little boys, but I also associate these little gears and fixing things with my son. So, perfect. I'm going to bring them in, and I'm going to leave them natural. The wood part will work perfectly. So, that is good, guys. <laughs> So these are basically going to be like my enamel dots. I'm showing you guys way too many things all at once. I'm just excited. Um, acrylic pieces. I still have to get that word spring down. I don't think I have any acrylic pieces that will work, but I always like to look through anyway. I mean, that is gorgeous. It's just the tone is off. And I would need like more than one little piece of something for it to work. So I should be looking at my acrylic pieces sooner. But, you know, I sh you know that's what I think I'll do going forward. I'll look at these pieces because there's a bunch of titles before I jump into my um, extra alphas. All right, let me get all these pieces down and we'll see where we are. I also, I think I'll have enough. But I was seeing, like, should I fussy cut out any florals? But I think I might have enough on this. Let me pop it down and we'll so, see. So, y'all, I've got all of these pieces on. I've got my big old flare going on. I've got wood. I even found some itty-bitty little puffies to add. Um, I've got my buttons galore and more gems and sequins. Oh, my gosh. And then I was thinking... Look at this like little diaper pen. I thought that would work for a baby. My idea was this, these are extra goodies. So these are from a previous layout. I was thinking I'd like to add just a little bit like where you can see a touch of gold somewhere with the idea that quite frankly, I need a little bit of gold because I have all that gold in the middle. So here's another little pin. I don't know what these pins were for like theme wise before but they're oh because there's a bunch of sewing stuff oh okay now I do have these nice golden sequins that definitely help but you know these little pins remind me of a baby so it's cute now on here I love that color heart but I don't have any of that color on here just seeing if anything will work oh this little peachy puffy will work I have almost the same color on um, something else. So yeah, I'm just really at this point, will anything I have in like my leftover stash work, that's where we are with it, which I think is super fun. I don't have mint, I don't have true pink. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at, <gasps> there's bumblebees again. This was meant to be, totally meant to be. That's all I'm saying. There's bumblebee there. This bumblebee has a tiny bit of a little minty colored wing on it, but I think it'll be okay. Do you guys see any other bumbles? Oh, right there. So I will have a cute little puffy bumble also in every cluster. Isn't it fun that how things can work out when you just start looking at your goodies? I think it's so fun. So I've got gold there. I've got gold there. And I just saw this little piece. It's not much of anything but I was thinking maybe just that little bit would help and I'll pop it right down there pair affection guys so from this kit it looks like and I'm considering this to be done guys I used up this whole package of sequins which is so great I'll put those in my finished up goodies 
Um, did not use much out of this. I have a bunch of goodies left in here. So I think I will scrunch these down and leave them on this tray. Because if I can see what I want to use up, I do it so much better. Um, then, let's see. I do have a ton left on this sticker sheet. A ton, a ton. I've got some papers left. So let me just choose things if I really love them. That is just okay. Ooh, I like that orchid. This, do I have more than one piece of this? I do, okay. So I love that orchid. I'm gonna keep this, even though it's a bit of a pain because I might need to fussy cut some florals. I used plenty of that. Ooh, and I have a big piece of this. So let me go ahead and just give that a nice little trim right here. So I do have papers left over. Do I feel like there's enough in here to do a whole nother layout? That's a thought. Is there enough? Oh, guys, I kind of feel like there is. I kind of feel like there is. Darn it. <laughs> I love using up kits, but when I start looking at this, and I have all of these embellishments, and I've got these pieces as well as the sticker sheet, I think this better just stick around for the next layout. All right, guys, I'm going to have some still shots to follow. Any links that pertain to things I've done on this one, Scrap and Happy Studio is scrapandhappystudio.com. I'll have affiliate links for buttons galore and more down below, guys. And this layout is finished. I love using sketches, so I'm going to keep going forward with that on my next layout. A few still shots to follow, guys, and I'll see you ever so soon with another video. Goodbye, my friends.